so we're just going to get in an Uber and head to the hospital. My mum and dad are coming with us. Um, and they're going to head off home once we've uh, been to the hospital. Right, we are on our way to the Royal Marsden Hospital and uh, we jumped in an Uber because it's the quickest way to get across town and my parents are here with me, so is Becky. Um, my parents are going home after this uh, but I'm staying an extra night just to rest and recoup and hopefully we'll have something potentially positive from the Marsden but we don't know at the moment. Um, it's very doubtful, no one thinks I'd make, no one thought I'd make it this far. Um, so we shall see, we, we, we don't have any expectations uh, at this point in time, so anything's a bonus, so we'll see. So we've made it to the Marsden, just gonna go in, see the dock, and find out what's going on. So let's find out. That's amazing. Just in the waiting room at the Marsden, uh, waiting to go into there, uh, booked in. Uh, feeling a bit weird. Not sure what I think is going to happen today. Um, because everything has been exhausted within options, so kind of weird state, but we'll see. Um, only the doctors can sell, can't they? That's how it goes. Hello everyone, this is Professor Gore, one of the best uh, oncologists going. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> see you. Uh, he's allowed me filming, man. Um, so hopefully we can get some information, but it's probably not going to be good information, is it? <laughs> no. You know, it's, it's one of those. It but is. So you were down in the phase one unit? Yes, it was, in the trial. Unfortunately, we can yeah. carry on with uh, I, I read that. I, they've written quite a nice note, actually, yeah, right, yes. that sort of describes it all. Yeah. Um, and things have got a bit bigger. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You can feel that, can you, as well? well? You can see it. Yeah. If I just do this, I put a picture on Instagram. I guess I'm not fussed taking my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's there. It's, yeah. Is it very sore? It's very painful, but can, like we said the other day, let's get the pain controlled and then my body will hopefully get back to normal. Yeah. So now I'm eating really healthily, like really well. And I'm like eating steak dinners and I'm eating yeah. like everything perfectly. Yeah. Um, body's processing it perfectly. Yeah. Um, I've got energy. I'm feeling physically well. Uh, the only issue is I'm having to walk sometimes with a stick because uh, yeah. pelvis. Yeah. Uh, but apart from that, everything seems fine. Okay. So right. It's very strange. I've gone from Death door. You look better than when yeah. I saw you last week. Yeah. You say that. It yeah. looks much better than when yeah. I saw you last week. But I was not because of everything else that's going on. Yeah. Um, I haven't thought about that in any way, shape, or form. Not really. But it's a good, you know. It's, um, I'm. I'm willing. It's a to good do it. point. But the question is, well, firstly, is it doable? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The second problem is yeah. that even if you did it, yeah, you know, it would be back pretty quick. That I can deal with because if we look at it in the grand scheme of things, if I can control everything internally that's going on at the moment, which I don't know if I am or if my body will, uh, it's taken six months for that to grow back or five months yeah. for that to grow to that size. Yeah. If I can get another five months by surgically removing it, that would make my fucking world. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, I understand that. I and understand. I don't believe that, personally, I don't believe that anything else is going to be helpful at this point in time. Well, you're probably the best person to advise me on that. Well, we, we had on the table this sort of weekly treatment with a weekly chemo. Yeah. Which I think we talked about yeah. a while back before yeah. you went down yeah. to something. And that's still on the table. Okay, cool. But I'm, but what would that be? That would be weekly tax on. Okay, tax on weekly. Do you reckon that will help? It will. I think it has a small chance of helping. Okay, cool. I 
I think it's difficult to put a percentage on it. Um, so it, it would be less than the chance of it shrinking the tumour would would definitely be less than fifty percent. Yeah. But whether the chances of it, you know, because of the rarity of what you've got, it's very yeah. difficult to sort of really put a firm figure on it. Yes. Yeah. Kind of working from inference and from experience and other rare tumours in this sort of situation. Chance of it doing something probably is in the region of about fifteen or twenty percent. Yes, but it's usual. a bit of a guess. Actually. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's not. I'd be very. You know, it's not going to be an eighty percent chance. I know, of course. Like and I, I'm surprised I'm still alive, if I'm honest. And you're um, probably surprised as well. <laughs> presently surprised. Presently surprised that I'm alive. Yeah. Um, um, they didn't think I, the nurses at the certain. Hospital were very honest with me and didn't think I'd make it through the last couple of weeks. So yeah. They were very. very I think you look rather clear. Yeah. Mm. It's a lot of drugs. Yeah. I have a gut feeling that there is no reason why I can't progressively control over time yeah. and try and control over time with your help and mine. But hopefully, if I yeah. uh, can do that, and we can do that. I mean, look, if someone has got tumour in a place that's giving them pain. Yeah. And it is possible surgically to remove that and yeah. get rid of the pain. Yeah. And that is an important cool. thing for us to do. Yeah. The only question that then arises is yeah. is How it doable? Do you know, is it, do is it physically possible to do it? Yeah. Without, you know, something completely doing something yeah. Yeah. mad. Yeah. Um, I had that six surgeries in one go yeah so yeah i'm not fussed about anything like that i'm, I'm, I'm hardcore <laughs> and the other day when he yeah. said to me are you happy to have this surgery without anesthetic yeah go on then let's do it and it felt like death anyway so I might as well do it yeah so you know let me go and have a word with them can i ask you a question before you go and have a word yes at the moment how long do you think that i'd have to live with all this going on as it is and as it stands. I know you get annoyed with me probably. No, I don't. I'm just staying alive. <laughs> Stop staying alive, Dan. I'm annoyed with you staying alive. Well, stop it, Dan. Why are you making my feelings so difficult? Yeah, why are you making this so hard for me, Dan? No, um, <clears throat> you've surprised us to date. Yeah. As you know. Um, I mean, I, I don't. You know that we're not looking at years. No, we're not looking at years, I know that. Um, I, I'd be a bit surprised if it was up to a year, I must say. Yeah, okay. And I think it could be quite a bit shorter than that. Yeah. Whether it's going to be four or six months or nine months, I'm not yeah. completely certain. Okay, cool. But I think it's something that... Okay, cool. It's better than thought. Could you... Prove yeah. me wrong, please. I'm trying to. <laughs> if you can get this surgically removed, I'll, pr I'll prove you wrong. Right, okay. Yeah, she'd like to right. be proved wrong right, because she'd like to. Right, you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wrong. Stay with Let me. me go and have a word with them. Yeah. Because I'll show them the scans and then. Yeah, if you could. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be right. Lovely. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. Thank you. Then I'll come back in as well, all right? Cool, that's fine. So, Professor Gore's just been here and uh, the surgeon's also been in to see me. We're going to see if we can surgically remove these bits here um, problem is disease has come up here into this area and into my chest and up into my clavicle um, so it might not be that easy but we're going to try and see if we can get some surgery done to that area internally we can't do anything um, but progressively through possibly diet management radiotherapy maybe chemotherapy again we might be able to shrink some of this disease down give me a little bit longer at the moment they're saying my expectancy is anything from like maybe a couple of months um, to push another six months. Um, but I'm gonna to continue to keep fighting. They're shocked I'm still alive. Um, and let's just continue to shock them, continue to document, continue to try and help everyone, and we'll go from there. Boosh.